So in today's video, we're going to be doing a review and swatches of all of the shades of the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oils by Merit Beauty. But before we get into that, we do have some things that we need to discuss. If you don't care about this, you can just skip to the review. First thing is if you like beauty and haul video type things, then please subscribe to me so you'll be up to date with other videos that I post. Second thing. This is a collab video with Merit, which means that they sent me all of the items. They let me choose seven things from their site, but they have eight shades. And so I actually purchased this one myself. It was sold out on the site anyways. So that was my decision, but I just want to clear some things up since I know that I got these products for free and I have a referral link. I know that my integrity is going to be questioned now. And I just want to clear that up and make sure that you guys know I would never lie about a product just to convince you guys to buy it regardless of whatever it is and I did reach out to Merit before I agreed to do this video and made sure that I was allowed to be completely honest and just so you guys know I already tried the one that I bought for a few days now so I could be able to make the review and I really really like it so I just hope that you guys will believe me when I'm saying all these good things about it and not just because I want you guys to use my referral link or whatever which if you guys want to, I'm not gonna stop you because I like money. So if you want to, the link is muse.meritbeauty.com slash Misa. So the third thing, let's talk a little bit about Merit Beauty. So they try to go for the minimal look, the no makeup makeup look, the less is more look. So if you're into any of those things, I would definitely check out their other products. And they're also clean at Sephora, cruelty free, vegan, and fragrance free. So you can see that they're trying to be more inclusive, maybe people have sensitivities to fragrances, and they're also ethical. I hope you guys know that this whole spiel will not be before every video. I know this intro was long and I'm so sorry, but I just wanted you guys to know all of those things. But now let's go with the unboxing. So I haven't opened this yet. I just got it today and I have been waiting. I'm so impatient and I literally got ready to film just so I could open it right away. So let's get into it. Got my scissors. Now we're going to cut through this. Ow, hurt myself. I'll, I'll give you guys the first look. Ooh. Oh, they gave me a little pouch and everything. So I have all the shades now, including the one that I bought myself. So excited for that. And they also gave me this little pouch and it says Merit on the inside. I don't think I've ever seen anything more aesthetically pleasing than all of these lipsticks lined up right now. Is this how people feel getting like PR packages and stuff? Like I said earlier, I got the pink beads a few days ago from Sephora. So I've been using it every day since then so I could give you guys a proper review. And guys, I think this might be my favorite lip product ever. I don't use that many, but like, I know everyone has been hyping up the Makeup by Mario one recently, and I do think that this is better. I'm sorry to have to say that, but it just goes on so smoothly. It's actually really pigmented considering it's a lip oil. I thought it might be like the Dior one where it kind of just goes on sheer, but you can really see the color when you put this on and the hydration. Oh my gosh, like my lips are always crusty. No matter what product I use, even when I use Vaseline, like it only really helps for like 10 minutes and then my lips are crusty again. But this product, after using it a few times, maybe like three times, my lips were so smooth and even my boyfriend noticed, which is saying something because you guys know men, they don't really notice things like that. It is so hydrating. I don't know how else to explain it, but like I feel like there's a difference between hydration underneath the lips, like on the inside, and then hydration on the lips to the touch, like on the surface. I don't really know if that's like a scientific thing or if that's real or whatever, but whatever it is, I think that this hydrates both of those. It is so amazing. And like I said before, I'm so scared that you guys aren't going to believe me because I did get this for free but like I am so glad that Merit reached out to me for this collab because if they hadn't I never would have thought to pick this up for myself and it just 
it's a life changer. The only thing is I don't really like this shade that much on my skin tone. For reference, I am a fair to light skin tone with neutral to warm undertones. And this doesn't really look that great on me. I think it kind of turns a bit orange when it goes on my lips, which you guys will see in the swatches. But I mean, other than that, like they clearly have other shades. One of them's gonna work for me. But I just love it so, so much. And you can really tell how much thought they put into each of the shades because when you look on the website, for almost every single shade, they show someone with fair skin and someone with deeper skin. And the shade looks amazing on both of them. So I just really appreciate that, like the inclusivity of it. But let's get into the swatches. So I brought you guys in closer so that you could see the color on my lips better. The first shade is a warm clear called Bel Air. A medium on the lips, I can already feel the hydration. So like I'm not really seeing the warmth, but if you already like the shade that your lips are, then this is definitely for you. Next shade I am so excited for because I love natural lip colors. This one is a warm blush and it's the shade Au Naturel. Don't think I'm saying that right, but... Maybe I just put a lot on, but it doesn't seem that natural, but it's stunning. Like I said before, these lipsticks are kind of like stains and they kind of stain your lips a little bit after so I really hope that that doesn't affect the shades that I'm doing. I don't think they will too much because like I said, they are pigmented. Next shade is a soft peach called Marrakesh. Is it just me or do all of these shades look a little bit dark on me? Maybe my skin tone's just a little bit too fair. You know what's weird? I actually feel like Marrakesh is a little bit more pink and cool toned on me, and then Pink Beat, because I've tried it before, is very like orangish, so they're kind of reversed on me for some reason. I think you guys can definitely see now what I meant earlier when I said that it's also kind of a lip stain because my lips were definitely not this dark when I started swatching these. Next up is Pink Beat, which is described as a cool pink. See, you like that? Definitely looks more orange toned, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Is it cool toned? You guys can tell me in the comments. See, it looks cool pink like in the bottle and when I take it off, but on my lips it's a little bit orangish. So maybe it's the color that my lips are naturally that makes it look like that. Ooh, the next shade I'm also pretty excited about. It is the neutral brown shade taupe. I think that brown lips just look really good on me. What I like about these is you can wear them natural and just make like a really sheer layer or you can make them super pigmented if you want to add like a really thick layer. Ooh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So the next shade is a soft orange red called Karakara, Karakara. Again, I don't really know. I have a feeling I'm not gonna like this color. Woo, that is really orange. Ooh. 
Also, I'm not really a professional by any means, professional makeup artist, professional reviewer, or anything like that, so I'm not sure why they chose me, but um, if you have any advice for anything that I'm doing that I should be doing differently, then you can let me know, but nicely, please. This definitely looks more like a red than like an orange, like it does on the model photos, but I mean, if you're going for a red lip, I do kind of like this, honestly, actually. I am... I'm very surprised. So we have two more shades left. The next one is a deep berry called Sangria. Y'all like... That is dark. Personally, I don't like dark lips on me. Oh my god. I actually like this one too. That's so crazy. Guys, these shades are like magic. Like, I don't know what happens. Maybe they change color when they're on your lips to suit your skin tone, but like, all of these are actually looking pretty good. Last shade is a deep brown called Falcon. Okay, so this shade I don't like too much, but maybe I'll have to try it again when my lips aren't already stained from the other ones. It's not ugly though, I just don't think that it's my style personally. The more that I wear this one, which I didn't even like, Falcon, I mean, the more I like it, it looks so good. Guys, I'm actually so pleasantly surprised with all of these. Honestly, only like two or three of the shades looked like I would like them, but all of them looked so good on and I can't explain how. And like I said, again, I feel like you guys aren't gonna believe me because this is a freaking sponsored video. But like, now that I think of it, they wouldn't just be giving all of these small creators free products saying that they can give honest reviews if they didn't know that their products were amazing. And they are, like this is just, I'm just in shock right now. Wow. You guys need these, like, holy wow. That, wow. That concludes my video on the Merit Beauty Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oils. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, whatever, so that I know and I can make videos like this in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one.